Hello everyone, it's my turn. We have been doing these question and answer sessions and I hope you've gone and seen April's, I hope you've gone and seen Laura's. If you haven't, stop the video now, go and watch them. <laughs> I'm here with two people who are giggling at me. Hello Laura, hello April, say hello everyone. Hello everyone. If you're not called everyone, <laughs> we don't want to talk to you. But... So. Um, uh, thanks to everyone who put comments onto my page, and I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna randy, randomly pick some, and we shall answer the questions. If we get through all mine, then I'm gonna go and steal some questions off of the other ladies' channels. And when we run out of time, we run <laughs> out of time. Question number one: Are Ellen and Sophia related or seething because they sound alike? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't sound anything like that, bitch, Sophia. You can shut your mouth as well, Ellen. <laughs> oh, Truth oh. of the matter is I only got a few voices And the only one I haven't used so far Sounds like uh, an 82 year old Fish and chip shop saleswoman From uh, um, the Essex And it's just, just not a good voice <laughs> but, No actually to be honest with you The reason why I jumped on um, we, This is this actually came around And bite, bit me on the behind Because I ended up doing an entire episode all by myself <laughs> was um, we were looking at it and uh, these two were arguing over who was going to do uh, um, Sophia and I'm looking at her thinking you know she looks so much like Ellen I've just got to do this one I've just got to do this and I spent the next 20 minutes talking to myself mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so much fun <clears throat> so right moving on Beth's a nice name as well Yes. Pierce the low sleeping brights. <laughs> now that sounds like a that sounds like a metal album, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah. It does, yeah. <laughs> a question for Ellen. Where does she go every Saturday morning? I'm digging a pit, darlings. I'm big digging a pit. It's outside of William's door. <laughs> and one day I'm gonna fit the trap door and the punji sticks at the bottom and he will regret turning me down. <laughs> So uh, I've got to go and have a lie down now. <laughs> I actually know the answer to that, so I can't say anything. No, don't say, don't say. And it's amazing the number of times she said, I know the answer to this one, but I can't I say to, anything. I want to tell you, I want to tell you, I want to tell no, you. No, no spoilers. I want to tell you. <laughs> no spoilers. No. Uh, Ooh, I won't, but... Uh, we're, we're waiting for the day when she actually explodes, and we're hoping it's on microphone. <laughs> Well, it's hopefully it's on the same day that Laura explodes over a toddler or a tiara, and then, like on both sides of the world, it will just be these enormous explosions. Oh, was uh, good. Enormous <laughs> explosions. Uh, every... <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, uh... I apologize to everybody who um, watched my live stream or my uh, my episodes on my YouTube channel of the uh, the Sims Three stuff that I did this Wednesday, where we made Ellen, we made Damien, and we made Baby Tallulah. <laughs> <laughs> and we couldn't find a tiara for her. In fact, I spent several Aww. hours searching through various websites for a tiara to download for a toddler. Nobody makes one. No, there's no Aww. toddler tiaras. But yeah. you, there's definitely there's a whole range of Sims 3 custom content tiaras for adults. <laughs> it's like, so you should have just made her an adult. Uh, I'm not hinting or anything, says Laura. But you better download one. <laughs> I'll send you my links. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Andy Ray Sim uh, By the way I uh, hope you're having a happy holidays If you celebrate them Oh thank you Thanks. Yes it's very, really too. really nice I mean, I'm that not a huge fun. fan of Christmas myself As uh, everyone I think knows But I think Laura makes up for it for me <laughs> Well and I about, actually really <laughs> And about 20 other people <laughs> yeah. I really do love Christmas I just don't really get to celebrate it very much But it's been a good it's been a good run right now so yeah christmas was lots of fun in the in the past i'm, I'm not enjoying it so much these days but uh, uh my favorite holiday is just around the corner which is new year's day so mm -hmm. i shall say thanks for that one right <laughs> moving on Ooh. how does ellen switch from magical diary from this <laughs> game all in the course of a saturday morning and always get back before, before the money comes back is Damien helping her? Does William know? Should Tallulah be jealous? And now that Tallulah has her tiara, does Laura even care what happens anymore? 
No, she doesn't. <laughs> or will she be in the corner putting a schmeagol? <laughs> my precious, my precious Tiara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kaylian, I love you. That's hilarious. That's amazing. That's, That's a, a fantastic question. question. Uh, um, even her name's funny, Kaylian. What's her face? It's this, yeah, uh, it's yeah. I've I've um, seen that one before, and I, I love your comments. And thank you very much. I'm just curious if that a, is that a um, reference to Hazel. What's her face from Thirty Rock? If uh, if so, answer and let me know. Yeah, if you could put in a comment on that one, I think we all want to know now. <laughs> uh, okay, right. How does Ellen switch from Magical Diary to this game all in the course of a Saturday uh, Saturday morning? Well, the simple answer is that she pops around the corner to this wood, blue wooden door. And then there's some wheezing sounds. <laughs> That's possibly because she's been running, but we don't know. And and then she, she, she comes back um, saying, well, it's, it should be Saturday afternoon, to be honest. It should be Saturday afternoon. I don't know why it's not Saturday afternoon. It's not Saturday afternoon, it's Saturday morning, and the money's just about to turn up, so I've got to go to town and, and sit in this stupid, stupid, stupid mall and watch T Tallulah drool over the tiaras. It's just not fun, to be honest. It's not fun at all. It's, it's, it's not fun, it's not interesting, it's not enjoyable. Yeah. I, mean, I, I can't even go in, into the mall because there's uh, Victoria up to her elbows in, in ice cream, and I want ice cream, but I can't eat ice cream because it goes straight to my thighs. It's just not on. <sighs> You know, life is just so hard for me. You think it would go straight to her boobs? No, damn it, somebody's moved my bras there's, again. There's no room in the boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They've pushed maximum density. <laughs> they have an event horizon. <laughs> uh, and yes, I, I will be... I, I do care what happens, yes, definitely. Yes. But I probably will sit in a corner at the end of it with my precious here. <laughs> I'm gonna make her wear those nerdy glasses. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just worrying. There's going to be a scene in this game where Professor Grabner is going to confiscate it. Oh no! Don't, oh. don't say such a thing. Oh, he's gonna take it and wear it. Greasy <laughs> hair. Oh, oh, disgusting. Yes. <laughs> I, so, I so tell me, uh, young Tuluda, does this make me look feminine? <laughs> we should get the ending where you marry him. No. You'd love it, Laura. Mm mm. And give Grabby some kisses. Mm. Mm. <laughs> grabby, 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 Grabby. Oh, no. Actually, I'll tell you one thing, okay, I've noticed that um, I, most of the fan fiction seems to be about uh, Grabbiner. Really? Mm. Yeah, whereas uh, we seem to have picked a, a, a sort of Damien-esque crowd. We? Mm. <laughs> well, I don't know why, darlings, but I love you for doing it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't have anything to do with the, the Damien thing. <laughs> But, um, you know, I'd love to see, I would love to see some of our recording influencing the fan fiction. <laughs> you know, I, I, would, I would love to see um, a, a Magical Diaries naughty trio fan fiction out there. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I might end up writing it myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, funny. moving on. <laughs> Beth Dali. Oh, same oh. person. Yeah, we've done that one. And we've done that one. <laughs> oh. Damien at the end. My question is, how would you see your characters in the future? So, you two ladies first. Uh, what do you think, Laura? For Tallulah. Um... Oh, God. That's a question. Um, I would like to see Tallulah realize that Damien isn't for her <gasps> and that she deserving of a more loving, fulfilling healthy relationship <laughs> are you proud April? I'm so proud of you right now <laughs> <laughs> and uh, getting to you know marry someone who loves and respects her yeah. wow Laura I know, I'm proud this is a this is a great day for me. Um, <laughs> I have been rubbing off on Laura so much, and it's it just. And I gave you my heart. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> and actually, <laughs> and to be fair, Laura, you rub off on me in wonderful ways too. <laughs> oh really? I, did, I didn't mean that to sound sexual. No, you influenced me in wonderful ways. So thank you for that. Um. <laughs> I love you. And uh, for for my character, 
for well, Virginia would be like my main yeah. character, I'd say. I mean, squeeze. Um, I mean, squeeze. I would see her as maybe a, a talented athlete, um, in some sort of pro arena. Yeah, I can see that. Yep. I want to sim who job. President of the universe will do nicely. <laughs> <laughs> you can just bring me young virgins. <laughs> yes. And a straw. Yes, and a straw. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Great question there, thanks. <laughs> Good question. Sid? <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. Right, that was so cool. Andrew Ray Sim again. Uh, thank you, Simon. I would last to ask Damien a question. What plans have you concocted for your next date with Tulula? Well, hmm. <laughs> perhaps I shouldn't tell you the details, but it involves a llama, some macrame, and this <laughs> shovel. Hmm. Yes, you don't want to know the details so you can maintain plausible deniability. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. I think, to be totally honest with you, any plans we could come up with would just be no sillier than uh, the, 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 the first date. Story, yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Nope. I think... We're running low. Yeah, we're running low. Let me just uh, have a quick run through the questions to see if we any missed. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so that one, that one, that one. Okay, one from Shizzy. Hey, Very clever, Shizzy. Simon. And creative. <laughs> well, I don't really have a question for you, Simon, because I asked him during the live stream, so, but I have a question for all three of you. Have you guys ever thought of doing something like a podcast? Um, That's something we talked about with Ashley B. as well. Mm. And uh, I actually think the four of us could have a lot of fun, but it would really depend on if we had anything to say on a specific topic. I like, I feel as though some sort of free form thing probably wouldn't be. I know. And, <laughs> and the things that we think we talk about are probably, unless, <laughs> so, unless it was like a 18 plus. Yeah. So, I mean, if we, if, if, if someday we were to manage the scheduling um, and maybe we could put out straw polls for topics and things like that, it's, it'd be, it, it would be something that maybe to consider, but yeah. I mean, we'd all love to do it. It's just getting our uh, our schedules um, coordinated. You know, and if you think so one of us has the temerity to live on the wrong side of the Atlantic, just making things hard for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> that and I keep completely different hours mm. from even the people I live uh, I live with. So, yeah. But no, we'd love to do it. We would love to. It would probably happen somewhere. Yeah. But don't hold your breath. <laughs> I guess the question is, have you ever thought about it? So yes, we have. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Don't know if it'll happen, but we have thought yeah, about it. Quite regularly. Oh, my God. Charis, or, or Charis Osborne's asked Bob from the Mall a question. Yeah. Read that one. Yeah, what is it? Okay, this is for Bob from the Mall. I almost started doing the voice almost instinctively. What, <laughs> what is it about the magical boarding school people that's so bad? That's awesome. What is it so bad? What is it so bad? I mean, I had one of them in here the other day asking for unicorn tears, and I gave him a <laughs> bottle of Evian water and t- charged him three times the price. <laughs> uh, they're just, just so stupid. They, they, they just make the place a mockery. They're walking around there with their wings tied on and painting themselves blue and asking stupid questions and drooling all over the other display. It's just so <laughs> annoying. Uh, they, they should just leave the ball for decent people like us. <laughs> Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. Bob the understated. Um, down there it says that Wendy left a comment on our videos. We didn't get to it on mine. We should, uh, when you're on Laura's video, we should track that down. Uh, do Wendy's comment because Wendy is so supportive. She comments on literally every video. She does. She's awesome. We should, we should check. We should find that. Find that question, Simon. Yep. Find it. I will find, find it. it. I will find it. I will find it. Um, find it. Don't get, and don't get me wrong. You're all amazing. It's just Wendy. Wendy like literally watches and comments on every single video every single day it's it's she's so sweet so wonderful and thank you to all of you who who comment and and all of that and support us because we have I think the three of us we have great viewers oh without a doubt yeah, yeah. you guys are all absolutely fantastic 
and keep on commenting and keep on making suggestions mm. and keep on contributing because it's so much better when it's a team effort mm -hmm. yeah uh, well i just i just feel like i actually like i recognize my my subscribers names and like their comments mm -hmm. and if i don't see one of them about for a while i think oh i wonder where they are and then they'll come back and they'll say they've been on holiday and i'll be like oh you know yeah. <laughs> things like that and you do it does kind of feel like you know mm. as a, a family and that sounds yeah. cheesy to some but it really is like yeah, that no, when it's, you're it's sharing so much with people up oh, there's wendy there well it is it is and to be honest with you we wouldn't do it and hey hey we wouldn't do it if um or we wouldn't do it with so much enthusiasm if you guys weren't talking and giving ideas and making skins for my minecraft characters thanks again shizzy <laughs> and just, just getting involved and giving us incentive to do this more and yeah. more because otherwise it's just much much less fun yeah, yeah. Well, and even um even just really quickly the impressive thing is even in situations like with my alice madness returns videos where we're actually having in-depth discussions about like mental health and things like that it's just so many of you respond in so many amazing ways and just impress all of us over yeah. and over again yeah, it's absolutely. really cool yeah definitely Okay, unfortunately, we don't have time for Wendy's question, so I'll just give the answer. The answer is absolutely no. Come on. I, <laughs> I was about to hit you there. I was like, we so do have time. I'm putting this punch in the post. <laughs> right, okay, Wendy Willett, she says, fantastic video. This QA will be interesting. Just one question for me, and it's this. When these three LPs finish, the Naughty Trio planning on doing some more LPs together? Yes. Well, I've already given you the answer. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're not going to stop doing this until it becomes boring, and then we'll go and do something else. <laughs> uh, and at the moment, there is so much rubbish. There are so many silly dating sims and... Mm -hmm. um, oh, my God. That spinning sausages thing. Every, and... time, every time I find a new one... Yeah. And uh, what we have, I am bread now. You can hear me swear really angrily. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, there's another Magical Diaries coming out. Yeah, um, yeah, I've read that as well. Magical Diaries Wolf Hall instead of Horse okay. Hall. Nice. So that will be pretty awesome. Get a whole yeah. Magical Diaries series. I know that would be good. Pantheon. Yeah, that so would we'll, be really, really good. I'd enjoy we'll, that. Will Damien Tulula's children be turning up? No. no, because Tallulah <laughs> is going to dump his ass. <laughs> Why did she you say they had them better. together? <laughs> mm. No, that's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Good point. Good. Yeah. So, yeah, we are not stopping doing this as long as you guys are having fun with us doing this. Yeah. Yes. Right, one last one, and then we're going to call it a halt. Angie Sims, Sims for life. Whatever happened to Ellen's bra? <laughs> Simon's win. <weird. laughs> no, well, the army commandeered it. Well, okay. <laughs> it's it's a, a, a slingshot. slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> and then they looked at it and they said, you can throw rocks, it'll take out cities with this. <laughs> a catapult. That's the word I was thinking. <laughs> Long sort of cat, sorry. Uh, um, yeah, well, in the story, it got um, thrown around in the canteen and people were laughing at it and on one occasion living in it. Um, <laughs> um, I, th I think what's happened is that um, Ellen's put a button at the top of the two cups and uses it as a, a handbag now. <laughs> Well, more like a duffel. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. And one thing I have done is I've, in, I've in, included a security system in my underwear drawer now. If anything, anything moves, I know who did it. And of I'll course. have them. Every I will have them. Has one. Yes, I will bury them next to William. I'll have them. You know, I just can't cope with this. <laughs> well, if Animal that. House teaches young women anything, it's that you need to protect yourself against panty raids. Absolutely. <laughs> I've never seen Animal House. What is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> Another thing add, added any, to the we must corrupt things. Laura list. Mm. Yep. No, I've never. <laughs> Maybe that's why my panty drawer is always open. <laughs> Close the damn drawer. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to understand you heard it here first. 
<laughs> Laura's panty drawer is always open. <laughs> I don't mean open as in lying open, but you could, you could get into it. <laughs> oh, I get into it. You could get into my fun. <laughs> We have more ambiguous lesbian rhetoric going on. <laughs> yeah, which brings us neatly back to the fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before this gets completely X-rated... <laughs> Simon knows where this is going. <laughs> I know exactly where this is going, and this conversation is going to carry on for a long time. I'm getting popcorn. <laughs> I think we're going to call it uh, an end there. If you like this, let us know. Okay. And mm. if you like it, we'll do some more. We've got plenty more questions floating out there. And I'm sure you guys have got plenty more questions in your heads. So give a comment. Go and watch the others. Yeah. Because they're even yeah. sillier. <laughs> okay. <That's> so. <laughs> <laughs> the truth of the matter is I made a hammock out of Ellen's bra. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's amazing. It's 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 the first double bed hammock I've ever had. Double. <laughs> Sorry, double bed, double D. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Okay. okay. Well, guys, I have been Simon Parsons. These two have been insane. Say good night. Good night. <laughs> Thanks, then. Good night. Good night. Bye.